Now then, nutrition is a massive topic within triathlon and endurance sports. So if you ever wondered what the pros eat, or maybe don't eat, it clearly works for them whatever they do, so we've been out to ask them just that, and whether they take any vitamins, minerals, or supplements. <laughs> I don't like baked beans, I bloody hate them. Like it, uh, yeah. But that's the only thing I really love, everything that I can put in my mouth together. <laughs> that sounds so bad. Is there anything that you don't eat? Uh, are you vegetarian, anything like that? No, I don't like baked beans, I bloody hate them. But apart from that, I eat almost anything. Yeah, and a sensible, balanced diet, off-season more dirtiness, in-season more clean, healthy living. Um, I don't, just for, I, I don't really like them. I don't eat nuts. Um, and dairy, I don't have dairy just because, um, well, I don't not have it, but I try to have very little amount um, just because I think it makes me a bit phlegmy. No, I'll eat pretty much anything. Like, I'm not, I'm not a very fussy eater. I just try to like, I mean, I just like, you know, healthy, well-balanced food, but you know, I'll have like cakes and stuff. We stop at, a, you know, a cafe on the bike and stuff like that. I'm, I'm definitely not a fussy eater. Uh, I'm following a low carb, high fat approach uh, in my nutrition. So I'm re restricting the carbohydrate intake um, and I'm having lots of avocados, lots of Swiss cheese and um, unfortunately not that many pizzas, but I'm gonna uh, make up for these in holidays. No, I'm pretty easy. I love to eat everything. I don't eat sushi in the race week. That's the only thing, no raw fish or meat, but but that's the only thing I really love, everything that I can put in my mouth together. <laughs> that sounds so bad, but again... <laughs> no, I eat everything I can eat, but the, the best food I can ch cho uh, choose. But I'm not vegetarian, uh, it's the opposite. I like so much meat, you know, I need to eat meat to, be, to feel much stronger. And I love acai, so I think everybody. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Love acai. Uh, yeah. Love acai. Yeah, very interesting is that I just eat uh, kind of everything, but uh, I think, uh, <laughs> well, in, in the times now, you feel like really an outsider if you're not on paleo or not on keto or whatever. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I just eat what I like, and I think it's always a question of, uh, you know, how much, and uh, too much of everything is too much, and uh, I just try to have a good balance and, and listen to my body, and, uh, and yeah, and that's how I feel the best. <laughs> I eat pretty much anything to be honest like I'll eat a very mixed balanced healthy diet throughout the year but if I want a treat I'm not going to say no I'll, I'll have my Haribo or my chocolate I'm not going to knock it so uh, yeah you, you burn so many calories you've got to just make sure you're getting it all in and do you take any supplements any like minerals or vitamins or anything like just daily yeah so I take iron and calcium um, I think iron obviously as a woman athlete you need your iron so I found a big benefit from using that and then I've had bone injuries before so I definitely use the calcium to help with that and have you ever had blood tests to see how much like you need or where you're at with that or yeah I mean my iron levels used to be really low as well as my calcium so they're kind of the two I picked up on and I can really see that that's improved from taking them so uh, cool. yeah but definitely get the blood test first before you just start taking supplements yeah I take um, so I time it kind of um, with big blocks of training I'll have uh, ferrous sulfate um, so, so iron, yeah. yeah, iron, sorry, yeah, iron. Um, to the lay person, yeah. <laughs> just so that, um, yeah, because I don't eat a massive amount of red meat. Okay. Um, and uh, vitamin C if I'm traveling a lot. Um, other than that, I'm pretty, try and get everything from food. Yeah. And do you take any supplements, any vitamins, minerals, anything extra to supplement your diet? Um, from time to time, as I got a little older, I like to have some magnesium uh, before bedtime that really uh, relaxes my muscles and I really feel a difference. And I also work with some uh, protein powders and, and, car and carbs, of course, uh, after the training for recovery. Um, but uh, I, uh, yeah, I tend to just eat very natural foods and, and that helps me quite a bit. No, I've, I've tried taking supplements before and I've actually felt a lot worse when I've, when I've taken them. Like, particularly when I've been to altitude, I've taken like iron tablets and stuff and it's just made me feel horrendous. So, don't really take anything, like any supplements at all. Like, you know, like, just fruit and veg, <laughs> plenty of water. I have a diet plan made by uh, my nutritionist. So I work with her like five years and she's very good one. She do like uh, some special for me that I need. Like if I need some 
uh, a vitamin more than another one because Brazil is sweat so much as here so we need to be care so much about the the minerals and all the, these things you know so this is very important yeah it depends on uh, when I have heavier load or like altitude camp of course you go for iron and, and maybe a few vitamins and probiotic is uh, one of the most important ones for me and I think in general um, and other supplements not that many no yeah um, I take first endurance multivitamin and uh, um the um, HP op um, Optogen, which it just helps with your immune system and going really, really fast. And then before the race, I take a pre-race capsule and then I also take omega-3 fish oil capsules every day as well. I do a lot of uh, vitamins because we have to when we train as much as we do. Right now I have a cold sore because of the heat here and the sun, so I take a bit extra C vitamin, but I also took, take normal stuff like magnesium, zinc, multivitamin and iron, okay. you know, just to make sure that everything is functioning normal yeah and it's also again in period so when I was in Boulder in altitude you know I needed more iron and B vitamin and stuff like that so I'm really aware of how much I'm training and where I'm training well there is a huge variety of nutritional methods by the pros there and hopefully that was of some interest to you and if it was then hit that thumbs up button and if you'd like to see more from GTN just click on the globe and subscribe. Now, if you'd like to see some other Ask the Pro videos, then why not watch uh, what the pros do in their off season by clicking just down here. And if you'd like to see our worst triathlon mistakes from the pros, then just click down here.